we're back for another episode of Voices from the Sea. Oh wow, that gets really <laughs> All right, it's day three, daytime. The school. An institution designed to educate people. The place where people learn new skills and hope one day they can be useful in society. At least that's how it's supposed to be. But for me, it's an inescapable hell. Like, really, which moron thought forcing people to learn is a good idea? Learning is fundamentally useless if you don't desire it. Cantus! What are you doing here talking to yourself? It's you. Yep, it's me, Gario, your number one source in school. Okay, you've never been introduced before, but okay, cool. Right. Hmm? What do we have here? The school's number one antisocial boy is finally responding to me like a normal person. This is breaking news. What are you talking about? Stop making noises. You're worse than a fly. That's your usual response. Now you're really sounding like a fly. <laughs> I knew it. There's something different about you today. You don't usually say anything more than a sentence, let alone hold a conversation. Did something good happen? First thing that comes to my mind is, Mary, she's a wonderful... Okay, so... I don't know if you could call it something good. What is it? What is it? I met someone by the beach. Wow, really? This truly is some breaking news. To think there's someone who can interest you. You can see the excitement in his eyes. Come on, tell me more. What's the name of this unfortunate person? What do you mean by unfortunate? Is it a girl? Is it a girl? If so, what's her name? What does she look like? He dodges my remark and presses on buzzing non-stop in my ears. I already like Gario. I think he should be the main character, honestly. You gotta admit that he's definitely living up to his name. An annoying fly, that is. Maris. I think she's around our age. I replied despite my initial hesitation. Maris? I don't know anyone with that name. I don't either. Oh, don't compare me with an antisocial boy like you. I'm the number one source in school, remember? I know pretty much every kid in this island. Right. Oh, don't you go rolling your eyes at me. You don't know how awesome my networking is. Okay. Okay. That's enough. I'm leaving. Wait. Wait. I'm not done talking. Hey. Cantus, why do you keep doing this? Yes. A hell indeed. School. The noisiest place ever. Just get me out of here. Catchers! There she is. <laughs> Yahoo! Why would why do I when I make her giggle? She sounds like Mario. It's Mara, it's not Mario. It's very close, but I'm pretty sure they have different life goals. You look happy. Of course, I get to meet Cantus again. I don't think I'll ever get used to this. Are you ready for round three? This again? Come on, it's just the third day. There's more to come. Hey, I say that. You'd better be prepared. I can feel sweat accumulating on the back of my shirt. Ew. What's it going to be this time? Rest assured, Mara shall put everything to an end today. Oh my god, this whole time I've been telling you she's a murderer. I'm sure. I'll make you smile this time. Sometimes you can't help but wonder, where did she get all her confidence from? Should shop there too, Cantus. Here I come. What the? <laughs> oh my god! It's time for magical Maris. You are a peach pie. Never change, Maris. Take my special attack. Ocean therapy evolution. Uh, uh, ocean what? Ocean ocean. Therapy ev Ocean Therapy Evolution! Cantus. Cool name, huh? Right. Strange. Why isn't it working? What's not working? I'm trying to use my magical powers to cheer you up. Magical powers? Actually, Maris has a huge secret. Maris is a magical girl. Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh my god, the hat. <laughs> so, how is it? Did you feel Maris's magical powers? Yes, in all sorts of ways. 
I'm so speechless that I don't know how to react. Boo. I thought it was going to work this time. Candace doesn't even look surprised at all. No. I'm plenty surprised here. Really? Are you surprised that Maris is a magical girl? It would look far more convincing if you had a better costume. Huh? Isn't this how magical girls look? No, it looks nothing like it. N no way! I thought all you needed to do is get a disguise so people can't recognize you, and then shout random nonsensical words. This is like Pinkie Pie is teaching philosophy right now. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? It's not entirely wrong if you put it that way. So which is it? Am I right or am I wrong? Like seriously? Is she really that clueless? <laughs> Look for seashells. Let's give her a better example. Fine, let me give you a better example. Oh wow! Cantus, is that how you see Maris? You are such a sap. This is how you should look. Don't tell a girl how she should look. You're such a jerk. You can fantasize that, but don't tell her how she should look. Beautiful, graceful, enchanting. For one, your costume should have more frills and ribbons. Not to mention plenty of accessories, preferably with the wings. Pink is highly recommended. Last but not least, a magical wand is, complete, is to complete the picture. This is what you call a magical girl. No. Maris looks nothing like it. Maris is shocked. Can't just don't... You're... That should have been my line. I'm mortified that I know more about magical girls than she does. Alright, let's, let's just look for seashells. Hey, let's do something else. Candace wants to be a magical girl, too? Where the heck did you get that from? Candace, you want to be a magical girl. Enough of that. Let's look for seashells. Her face lightens up. Okay. Mm. Mm. Whoa, check this one out. You found a golden cone. Do you want to keep it? Heck yeah! Alright, this should do. Hey, look what I found. Oh, you're so fast. What did you find? I don't know. The bizarre looking shell. It looks kind of like that hat you have there. Oh, you're right! Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> okay, I like her more and more as time goes on. What do you think? Does Maris look better now? Can someone please tell me how to answer that? So, how long are you going to wear that disguise? What are you talking about? They're super awesome. Yes, they're super silly. I can't take you seriously. Cantus doesn't take anybody seriously, says my inner Maris. Boo. There's no way I'll ever get used to this. She always like this in front of others? Come to think of it. I know nothing about her. Like, what is she doing here, all alone at the beach? Why would she insist on befriending me? An unusual speech pattern of hers. Does anyone talk like her nowadays? The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. There are just too many things that I don't understand. Hey. Yes? It, it's nothing. What's wrong? Do you want to ask Mara something? She gazes, at, she gazes at me as if she understood what's on my mind. Are you sure you're okay hanging out with me? Of course! Maris is his first friend. I knew she would say that. Oh, by the way, Cantus isn't Maris's first friend. Cantus is the second one. Seriously? You may be weird, but I thought someone like you would have dozens of friends. Hee hee, hoo ha, hoo ha. Maris doesn't need that many. Just Cantus alone will do. Wait a second. What about your first friend? Oh. We never met again. Why? Don't tell me. Don't worry, it's nothing like that. I'm sure she's doing fine, even if we can't meet again. Oh, speaking of which, she's a lot like Cantus, the super serious type. I wonder if you guys are related, like siblings or something. <gasps> I bet it's his mom! Yeah, because he doesn't have any- yeah, I knew that. I don't have any siblings. Yeah, oh my god, what if it's his mom? 
Oh my gosh. And I doubt my relatives look anything like me either. That's odd. I thought you for sure you two were related. You guys are so similar. There's one big difference, though. She doesn't know what magical girls are. But leave me alone. The more I talk to her, the more it hits me. I really know nothing about her. But there's one thing I'm sure of. There isn't anyone quite like her. Not that I know many people to begin with. Even then, I'm sure. I'll never find someone like her. Again. Whoo! Storm is gone, but thunder remains. Alright, wow. I'm so sure now. I normally... It's probably going to be something completely different, because I'm terrible at predicting, but I am so sure there's his mom. Like, even before he said he had no siblings, I just kind of assumed he didn't, because he just has that kind of attitude. That he's just like... He thinks he can just, like, talk back to his mom. I don't know. It's something about how... <clears throat> how he talks to her. Okay. That's the end of this video, but remember there's always more to come. Bye!